guys, so I'm Ashley Dozier. People call me Ash. I play center back for Dukla. Go Dukla! <laughs> I'm originally from Dallas, Texas, so I'm kind of a cowgirl. And I've been in Prague for about two and a half weeks. I absolutely love the city. It is gorgeous, the monuments, everything about it. I just wish it was a little warmer, but spring is coming, I guess. Ahoy, everyone. I'm Daniel Mercado, but my friends call me Dale. Uh, I've been here in Prague since the start of February. Uh, I really love the city. The city is very beautiful and the Czech food is amazing for me as well. And uh, currently I am an Erasmus student from the Charles University and also a content manager for FK Dukla. Go Dukla! Let's go! What's this? The biggest surprise. Okay, so the biggest surprise for me is this one time I ate in a local restaurant near um, Prague 6 um, and I actually ordered for the pork knuckle and then when I got it, it's actually as big as my arm. It was like a dinosaur limb, so I feel like for me and Prague that was the biggest surprise for me so far. First friend. Okay, so this is actually pretty crazy. So in Dallas, we don't really have buses or trains, and so I look like a little lost puppy dog trying to find the bus. And Kubo actually texted a couple of my teammates, and they like walking around. My head is up. I don't know why my head is up. Buses are on the ground, and so I'm looking for a sign or something. And these three girls, Maki. Studley and Maruchka came and they're like, hey, like, you're Ashley. I'm like, my first friends are actually my three teammates who Kubo told that this girl will probably not find the bus. bus. Please come take her so she can make it to practice. So, so my first friends and they are so nice. They help me with practice. They help me with everything. They are just great teammates. <laughs> actually don't know any swear words in Czech. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. Actually, do you? Okay, so I actually learned this on the soccer field. It's like when you mess up and you do something really embarrassing, you go off. Ah. <laughs> I get the shortest one. Czech man! Oh my god. Okay, this is a funny story. Because I actually live in a student's dorm, mm -hmm. uh, one of the dorms of Charles University. And then I was in the kitchen, and then the first neighbor was actually very handsome. And he was very helpful with us, like he was telling us where to eat, where to go in Prague, and all that. And then, the next time I went to the kitchen again, the second time I went to the kitchen, same day, I met another Czech man, and he was gorgeous as well. I was like, why are all these students look so good? <laughs> what, do they all, what did they all do here in Prague? Favorite spot. Okay, so my favorite spot like is the bakery. <laughs> I love cafes and bakeries. I definitely have a big sweet tooth and thank the Lord we walk everywhere because I would be a thousand pounds because the bakeries are so good. Like the pastries, the coffee is just amazing. So yeah. And then obviously the parks. I love walking. Uh, there's a park right behind where I live and you can see like all of Prague, like right across the bridge and Charles Bridge and everything. But the bakery and a little park by <laughs> Best meal! Okay, so fun story. When I arrived here in Prague, it was actually night time. So we were looking for good restaurants to eat and particularly a Czech restaurant. And then we were so tired, we were so beat up, and um, I know that there are like a few scams in Prague here as well. So we were like, oh, uh, this day has been so long for us. And then we discovered this one uh, local place. Um, and then we had, I had the beef goulash, and that was my first meal here in Prague, and partnered with beer, it was the best. Still, I think of it to this day, honestly. Think about it every day. So might go back for that as well. Yeah. <laughs> 
this is hard because I think I've eaten this one so good. Um, probably the worst meal is a meal that I've made myself. <laughs> Going to the grocery store is um, crazy because it's all obviously in check. And so me trying to be like, oh, I'm gonna do this myself and finding the sauces and spices were a little hard. So the meal that I cooked lacked a little seasoning. So that was probably the worst meal, but that's only because I cooked it. So. <laughs> So the first day in the locker room, I was really nervous. Um, I was just, oh my gosh, I'm the first person here. And these girls are great. Like, they're really welcoming. Um, they help me with everything. I feel like I'm a lost puppy all the time. But they are, they are awesome. Like me riding the train is still pretty funny because I still don't know where I'm going. So <laughs> if I get there, great. If not, I can always call my teammates to help me out. So Chuck women, they're, they're amazing. And I'm so glad that they're my teammates. Yeah, I remember this one instance, I was in the city center and then there were a group of elderly Czech women and then they started talking to me and like they were handing their phone out to me and I was like and then they were talking to me in uh, Czech and I was like okay, okay I don't understand Czech, you speak in English and then they continued to talk in Czech but then apparently they just wanted for me to take a photo and then when I took a photo of them like with a view around the buildings they were so thankful, they were like, thank you, thank you. And I, I, I didn't understand a single thing, but I, I felt like they were very warm. They were like, oh, very thankful for me. And, yeah, had a good experience with them. So hopefully for everyone else. <laughs>